How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete this quest in the Acurus Cloud Rebellion. Um, this is the Appian, I believe it's called, the Appian Deploy Cloud function. <clears throat> so before we can get started with this, there's a few things you're going to need. One, obviously you're going to need to have access to the Cloud Rebellion. In order to do this, I believe you need a referral code. You can feel free to use mine. That's right here and there'll be a link in the description. Second, you're going to need Visual Studio Code. You can simply go to Google and type in VS Code, and it should be the first download. It will look just like this. Lastly, you're also going to need Node.js. This is the JavaScript runtime environment that we're going to be using to make our code deployable. Again, you can just Google this. Should be the first one to come up. It'll look just like this. They're pretty standard downloads. If you struggle at all, there's a ton of tutorials on YouTube. Just look up, you know, VS Code download or, or Node.js download. I'm not going to go through that part, but it should be pretty easy to find. Once you have all that stuff downloaded, we can get right into it. We can go to appion.io, which is going to be in the description, and it's also inside of the quest. Now, you'll notice I already have an account, so I'm just in my dashboard. You're going to have to probably make your own account first before you can get here. It's really simple. Um, you're just gonna click sign up now. The only thing that's important here is that you make sure you use the same email to sign up that you signed up with your Cloud Rebellion account. After signing up, you'll get some free points which will let you do this for free, which is nice. The next step is gonna be to create a new project. You'll see I've just named mine Acurus Test. Then you're gonna click on the Cloud Functions option inside of your project and you're gonna create a new Cloud Function Again, it just has a name and a description. I named mine Accurist Cloud Function Test. And we are going to be creating a new deployment. So you can select that option. Up here in the corner, we're going to click View Code Template. And we're just going to download this example from GitHub. So we're going to click on this little green drop down and just download it as a zipped folder. Once it's done downloading, you're going to have to extract that folder. You can just right click it, click extract all if you're on Windows. The process is a little different on Mac, but pretty similar. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go into this folder and you're gonna wanna go into the point where you're seeing some of these files. The important one to look for here is package.json. If you see that, you are in the right place to do the next step, which is to open this folder with Visual Studio Code. Now there's a few ways to do this. Uh, the most simple is probably opening Visual Studio Code clicking file, you know, opening up a new project. Uh, the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm just going to right click in this folder, click open in terminal, and then I'm gonna type code space period, and that will just open up the project in Visual Studio Code to save some time. And you'll see here, if we scroll through their documentation, the first thing that we have to do is build the script. So we have to do that by opening up our terminal and they're saying run npm run i. Uh, that, that's not the right term, I don't think, but I'm gonna try it anyway, because that's what the documentation says. So in order to open up your terminal in here, there's two ways to do it. You can either click on view in the upper left-hand corner and then click open terminal, or you can do what I'm doing and just hold control and then press the tilde key, and then press the tilde key, which will open it up. So inside of this, I'm gonna say npm run i. Uh, and that failed, which makes sense because I think what they meant to say was just MPMI. So I'm going to try that. Okay, and that's working. And what this is doing is it's just installing any necessary packages within Node.js that your project needs in order to run. So once this installation is complete, you'll see we're able to type something again. All right, so the next thing to do is type npm run build. And that is just going to build it into one nice JavaScript file, which is what we need to upload. That's all finished. So if you look at your files now, you should see a new folder called dist. If I open that up, we have this index.bundle.js. That is the file that we need. I'm going to open it up inside of my file explorer. And I'm going to go back to the deployment page. Okay. 
and just simply drag and drop it. Click continue. And it's just making me confirm that it's gonna cost 100 credits, which is fine. This process may take a while, so I'm just gonna fast forward it. <clears throat> so it says it's deploying now, which I feel like might take a while. So I'm gonna just leave it for a couple hours and I'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, I left for about five hours, came back. It says active now, so I'm assuming it is all good and running. I'm gonna go back into the Cloud Rebellion and I'm gonna enter my email address here. And then I'm just gonna submit it for verification. Okay, that seems like it worked. Let's click complete here. Perfect, okay, I got my miss, nice. So yeah, that should be it. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. And uh, if you got lost at any point or are struggling to get it working, just uh, also let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. I uh, hope you all have a great day. Take it easy.